uh, DeAndre Hopkins. I have a question for you. Yeah. DeAndre Hopkins, uh, do you believe that he will play more games this year than Deshaun Watson? Because he has now <laughs> been suspended for six games for violating the NFL's performance-enhancing drug policy, uh, league sources have told Ooh. ESPN. So, uh, Man, I, I struggle with this because I there's a part of me that I don't know. I don't know if it's Roger Goodell. I'm gonna I'm gonna say a word I really don't want to say or mean. I don't know if he's too cowardice. Is he too afraid to to suspend Watson? Have they done their research? Talk to some of these people and realize we kind of don't think he needs to be suspended. But we've suspended so many people for less. The problem with what Hopkins did is that's collectively bargained. Yeah, Watson is a the the god of the sport makes the decision. Hopkins' situation is very much a, um, this is collectively bargained. It is very black and white. If you test so many whatever nanograms of whatever illegal thing, then then you're suspended for this amount of days if it's your first time. You're suspended for this amount of days if it's your second time, and so on and so forth. Those just can't be argued. It, it does. Like <sighs> I'll, I'll tell you this. It, think, it definitely sucks. I think Watson might not get suspended at all. Uh, Hopkins missed seven regular season games with a hamstring, and then he had a knee injury, uh, and he missed the playoff yep. game. Um, now, before that, he had only missed, uh, t- 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 I think, two games. Um, that's right. T- 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 I think very, that's right. very healthy up until last year. Yeah, he had, the first he, thing, when, we, when you called me today, the very first thing you said was, if you see the breaking news, six games for PED or whatever. And yeah. my first thought was that, Man's coming back from injury, ain't he? That's that's what it is. Yeah, he uh okay, so he missed seven regular season games with a hamstring and the knee injury, uh missed the playoff game. He had only missed two games the entirety of his career up until this past yep. season. His quote on it was that was probably one of the worst feelings I've had since playing in the NFL was knowing that your team needs you to get to where they want to go, and I was helpless. He said sometimes I didn't want to be around the facility. Sometimes I was like, man, I don't know if I want to be around uh, just because I care so much about it. Um, and now here he is missing, you know, six I, games. I have, I have, like, I've shit on, yeah, I've shit on guys in the past for popping for, for drug steroids um, and, and stuff. And the, and the older I get, I, I now fully believe almost everybody in the NFL is taking this stuff. Not to get bigger, stronger, or faster because these sons of bitches are real big, real strong, and real fast though. I really do think that everybody taking this stuff in the NFL is taking it to heal. And and I'm I'm not I'm not a doctor, I'm not gonna try to say is it right, is it wrong, should they be allowed to or not. I my tune today is and I'm not a huge Hopkins fan. I don't I don't dislike him by any stretch. I think he's an absolute stud. I, I don't like the Cardinals. I'm not an organ I'm not a Cardinals fan by any stretch. Nobody would ever call me that. But I think I was wrong all those years. That, that I refer to guys as drug chiefs and things like that, in football especially. Now, baseball, we'll have a different conversation in a different day. But I just, I don't know, I kind of give these guys a little bit of a pass. I understand why the rules are in place. you got to protect these guys from themselves. And some of these HGH drugs that you can take. Uh, so, I don't remember who I read, and golly, this was like 10 years ago. So I'm sure the science has evolved since then. But one guy said the problem with HGH, or the scariest thing about HGH is, is it, it it's a human growth hormone. It stimulates all of your growth hormones, right? Right. So it could enlarge your organs. It could enlarge your heart. Could enlarge your... Now, look, I'm a moron who, who is a, could, can barely read. So somebody else read this article. And then talked about it on a podcast. That's the way I digested it. So you're a digestion the worst possible way. Um, <laughs> and then he said the, the scariest thing is, is the majority of all humans are walking around with some type of cancerous cells in their bodies that just stay dormant their entire lives. Yeah, HGH is like a steroid to that. It enhances everything. And if you have dormant cancerous cells and you start taking HGH, your body could, and that's one of those things that just, you know, you just start talking cancer, just scares the shit out of people. Scares the shit out of me. Of course. So, yeah. 
Um, you know, that, that's it's weird, man. But there was there was no doubt in my mind as soon as you said six games suspension. I, I just I, oh, no, this is this is for drugs, and this is for rehab. Yeah, you you and I both kind of thought the same thing. Um, I mean, it just sucks, right? Because like he he had never really been in that situation, and I'm sure that somebody told him like, hey, you know, you take this, and you you have a better chance of healing uh, quicker. Yeah, you can get back to doing what you want to do. You can get back to helping the team, and That's right. and instead, you know, you you aren't careful with it. You don't you know do all your research and all that kind of stuff, and and you get popped, and now you're out six games. I mean, that's it. the most he had ever missed in the season was last year, and he missed seven games, and now he's out for six to start this year. I will, I will tell you this, for a strategic standpoint, is they won all seven of the games he started, and they yeah. lost uh, nine of the remaining ten. No, nine of the remaining eleven. I think they played however many it was. Whatever the math works out. Well, he, he, so he only missed they seven almost, or eight games. So, okay. yeah. They lost all the rest of them at the back end. I would yeah. rather him miss the six, but because he took the drugs, he is in better shape and healthier and stronger and faster than he was before. Come back healthy, and let's win the back end. Because that's yeah. where Arizona has really struggled is winning the back end. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. You are not wrong at all. Uh, no, I know I'm he curious. didn't want to miss any of them, but well, no, of I got to miss some, brother. Ain't nobody won the won the Super Bowl in in August or September, and this most of them had won it in October. But you can show <laughs> lose that basket. Uh, you win it in November. You win it in December. You win it in January. Yes. And that's when they got to figure out how to win games. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.